the field conditions are wet. It's also really <laughs> fun, though, because I think the grounds crew did a really good job at getting this field ready. And for the players, I heard this quote floating around the dugout. If it's cold for them, it's perfect for us. Luke Little on the mound, the big left-hander. How long do you think he might work tonight? I would guess probably only one inning would be my guess. He's going to come in and be the opener. And then I would expect the May to come in second and probably try to give some length to the Cubs. Charlie Blackman, the leadoff man. Here's a 1-1. Back to the mound, and Little grabs it, underhands to first, and Bush, one up, one down. Like a cat, the big fella. Handling that comebacker. Ezekiel Tovar, the batter. Swing and a miss, struck him out. It went upstairs at 99. It's going to be very interesting to follow Luke Little this year, see what kind of a weapon he becomes out of that Cubs bullpen right now. You know, he's not considered one of the leverage guys, but that could change in a hurry. McMahon hitting in the third spot. Oh, nice play. Little bobbles briefly over to first, and he gets him one, two, three. That is your opener. And we talked about Cal and, and getting back to establishing the fastball. 19 starts last year, four and seven to 524. But overall in his career, this is his start number 96, 134 game. He's 35 and 24 with a 388. And a good fastball with movement. Strikes out Ian Happ. So a nice start for Cal Quantrill. Seiya Suzuki, the two-run home run to get things jump started for the Cubs last night. Good pitch. Yeah, really He's good pitch. Feeling the fastball. Yeah, so it's far. coming out of his hand. He blows away Suzuki after getting half. Here's Cody Bellinger. This is uh, in the air on the infield left side. McMahon calling for it. And it's a wonderful start for Cal Quantrill. Two strikeouts and a pop up against Bellinger. The new pitcher will take the mound, Ben Brown. On a cold night, JD, I believe he's going upper body command. Right, he's making a uh, bold statement here. Told you a homered last night to get the Rockies on the board. In the air, left field, hat coming on. Doesn't see it. Doesn't see it. And down the third baseline, Morrell able to make the catch. Morrell Swanson and Bush scheduled against Cal Quantrill. Little roller towards third, charging McMahon. No play. Infield hit. Christopher Morrell is aboard. Cubs looking to strike first. Morrell with an infield single. Line drive, base hit into left field. Christopher not stopping. He'll make his way to third. And with the runner on the goal, they're at the corners and nobody out. That's pressing their advantage. And boy, Swanson continues to hit the ball hard. Michael Bush batting now, Ron. You got the infield back. No score. I think if you're Bush, the last thing you want to do is get to two strikes. You want to pick out a pitch in a zone that you want and put the ball in play early in this at bat. Left field, Morrell chases back, tagging, and here comes the throw from Jones. It's offline and not in time. It's a sacrifice fly. Good job by Bush to get the runner in against one of the top arms in baseball, and it's 1-0. Now you got the speed of Morrell versus the arm of Jones, and uh, it's good, strong throw, but it's well offline. If that's right on the money, they might have a play on him. So again, cold night, tough to get a good grip on that baseball. There's been a lot of moisture on the field, so I think you know, both clubs would be looking to take advantage of balls hit to the outfield. Base is loaded with a couple of walks back to back for Cal Quantrill, and here comes Daryl Scott, the Rockies pitching coach, out to the mound. Miguel Amaya is the next hitter, the number nine hitter, the catcher. All loaded up, one away, one nothing Cubs. Quantrill deals. Swing and a high fly ball out towards left center playable though for Doyle under it and he makes the catch tagging from third and coming in to score is Dansby Swanson a pair of sack flies here in inning number two of the Cubs extend the lead to nothing that 373 on base percentage is representative of a team not only swinging the bat well but taking their walks and now they take a third walk in the inning. And you have to deal with one of the hottest hitters in the sport, and say a Suzuki. Ooh. Line drive, base hit into right field. That'll score a couple as Tuckman races around into third. Is half scrambling back to first and getting tagged down as Suzuki. He gets a two-run single, and the Cubs put four on the board here in the second inning. Ryan McMahon will lead off. There's a base hit up the middle for McMahon. That's his team leading ninth hit of the year. Charlie's one behind with eight. 
Just a short swing, compact. He's a little bit wider than normal. Hands are almost in a fire position. So he's seen it really, really well. On the ground, Horner, Swanson, Bush, double play. And Ben Brown is fired up. And a pitching change as Jalen Beeks will take over. Seiya Suzuki, one for two. That one drilled in the air, left field on its way and gone. Seiya Suzuki homered last night. He's gone yard here again tonight, and it is 5-0. I think he's feeling pretty good. Yeah, dancing in the rain. Do you mean that guy or do you mean Suzuki? Just Either way. Pretty good, too. Yeah. Two RBI single last time. Now it goes deep. Jacob Stallings leads off of the Rockies here, top of the sixth inning. And Stallings leans on one to deep left. And this one is going to short hop the wall. That was interesting by Ian Happ, who's a gold glover. I think he thought that was a homer. Yes. And it wasn't really close. Not with where that goes back and Jacob said thank you I'll take the double first and third for the Rockies with two down and Chris Bryant still looking for that first hit this year comes up hard ground ball to the left side and that gets the Rockies on the board and it's the first base hit of the year for Chris Bryant it snaps an 0 for 18 this year and 0 for 28 going back to last year the longest drought of his career Nolan Jones with two on this is Slowly hit the third. Well, throws it away. That's going to allow a run to score. Bryant gets to third. And with McMahon crossing home plate, all of a sudden it's 5-2. to two and The door opens up a little bit for the Rockies. For Morrell, his third error. This is the third. Morrell, another chance at it. And throws him out. Quantrill, trouble with the walks in the second inning. It's that way for Tyler Kinley here. He's issued back to back walks after the single. Had the bases loaded and nobody out. Line drive, base hit, out into center field. Bush is coming in. Porter racing around on his heels. Tuckman to third. Amaya is going to scamper down to second. Here comes Tuckman, and the Cubs score three times. It is 8 2. That'll work. Rockies make a little noise, score two, and you think maybe it's going to be a ball game, and the Cubs just come back and respond with three of their own. Still nobody out. Brent Doyle, a couple of strikeouts tonight for Doyle. And that's down the left field line. And with Doyle's speed, he's going to have himself a double. Yeah, I know there's been a couple of strikeouts tonight for Brent, but it seems like every game he's thrown out at least one knock, and, and the yeah. at-bats do look better than last year. Wouldn't you yeah, agree? Yes, and that's why he came into the ball game hitting 250. First and third, one out. Charlie's one for three tonight. Single back in the third. And Charlie drives this down the right field line. That's a fair ball into the corner. Doyle has scored. Stallings to third, and he'll get a stop sign there. Charlie overran second by about 20 feet, but no harm as the went to the relay man and not back towards second base. So Charlie Blackman continues to rake five hits in the last 24 hours. Top of the eighth inning it's eight to three the Rockies trail. They have the bases loaded though and one down and a new pitcher for the Cubs is the veteran right hander Hector Neris. And Jake Cave is going to pinch hit for Alan Trejos. And that's line to the gap in left center field. That'll score at least two. Doyle will stop at third on a pinch double by Jake Cave. And it's now eight to five. But here comes Chuck. Two for four, including an RBI double last inning. Slowly hit. Corner with the block. Not going to get it. And the ball gets away. Two runs score. Charlie's hustle pays off. We've got a one run game. Here come the Rockies. Now, all of a sudden, the tying run is at first. Come on. This ball is driven to deep center field. Long run for Tuckman. He can't get there. Charlie to third. Charlie's going to score easily. Tovar has tied it up. 8-8. Eight, eight. How do you like that? What an inning. And the Cubs are in business now. Men at first and third with nobody out. And now, Cubs' hottest hitter all spring, Suzuki. That's the third. McMahon coming home and it gets away run scores Stallings couldn't hang on to it Cubs lead 9-8 two down Brenton Doyle at the plate here's the pitch 
On the ground is short. Swanson goes to Horner. Ball game. Cubs win. And they sweep the Rockies. And what a great start to this homestand.